Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today we're going to open up an engine. Honda engine 2.4 came from CRV. Not sure exactly the year it failed. So the engine, instead of repairing the engine, they replaced it because it was cheaper and quicker. First, what you want to notice, see all the buildup on the inside? Lack of maintenance. All this discoloration, that means it's a lack of maintenance. Oil was not changed as often as it should be. You know, there is the saying, pay me now or pay me later. Sometimes people choose to pay later. Oil is cheaper, engine replacement is expensive. So either you replace the oil more often or you replace the engines more often. So your choice. So that's what it is. Failed engine, a lot of, you can see a lot of wear on it too. Short camera can pick it up, but you can see it's actually worn out pretty, pretty good off. It's expected from lack of maintenance. So let's start taking the bolts off, taking everything apart and see what we're gonna find. Why it failed and what failed on it. You can actually see how much wear it has due to lack of maintenance. What's interesting, a lot of cars today, the valves are hydraulic adjusted, Honda 2.4. Many cars of the same generation already done with a manual valve adjustment lash. It's all hydraulic, but Honda continues to use for some reason. It's one of those things that I would love to ask Honda engineers why, why they decided to to stick with this type of a, how should we say, old school technology. You know, it's it's more maintenance cost becomes because you have to adjust so many miles, and if you don't, you just engine becomes it's. Things are knocking, rattling, and so on. Finally, the ball came out with impact wrench on this pulley. So, next thing we're going to remove this rocker arm assembly that pushes on the valves. That's it. Right there you can see. Anytime you have this kind of build up discoloration it's a sign of major sign lack of oil changes. Timing chain, and you have another chain at the bottom of there to drive the oil pump. That's one of the dumbest designs ever. Timing chain. It looks like this engine has been has been apart. Yeah, see how much sludge. Yep, all the sludge will cause your engine. This is for your uh, This is for your VVTI variable valve timing system or Honda's VTEC system. Solenoid opens up, allows the oil to flow where it needs to be. So now we're gonna remove the cylinder head. Oh yeah, we got the head on. 
So the place is what we're wanting because we want to find out why this engine failed in the first place. So. Pull the head gasket and see what we can see. So let's see if we can spot where the head gasket failed. It's because it's very, very interesting why the cylinder has a bunch of oil. So I'm not sure, I can't really tell what really happened and why it happened. I can see the coating on some spots missing, but I can't see the, I don't see a reason why the head, this might be a head gasket issue. But then, why there isn't oil here? There's oil here, there's oil there, and if you notice, something this one is wet too this one is wet something there's some oil there very very interesting so now we're gonna remove the oil pan something is holding it yeah oh there's the oil here even though we drained a lot. Let's take a look how much oil there is there. There's a good bit, probably quart, quart and a half. Even though we drained everything, but not everything came out. So that's what it looks like from underneath. As you can see, there's a lot of sludge there. Not sludge, but like build up carbon due to lack of oil, oil changes. Interesting, Yamada, I must be supplier for the oil pump, huh? On Hondas. So we have engine on the side, we're gonna remove the oil pump and other stuff so we can get to crankshaft, pistons. So this is a oil pump assembly and the balancer shafts. That's it. As you can see, these are balancing shafts right here. And the oil pump all kind of built in, everything, you know, driven by the same shaft. Interesting design. Some cars have balancer shaft like that are attached directly to the crankshaft. Not part of the oil pump assemblies, but others chose this way. So it's just, I guess, different. As you can see, a lot of carbon buildup this here too. So definitely, you know, following factory recommend intervals it it does no good to anyone okay we have bearings As minus as some scratches, but well, overall in pretty good condition. The rod bolts are all out. Now we're gonna remove the caps. Rod caps. So definitely, lack of oil changes did its job. So let's pull the crankshaft out. Go from there. So what can we see here?
can definitely see dirty but not terrible oil rings clogged up ah uh, to the some extent not hundred percent probably I would say fifty percent on this first one I can get the camera to focus Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, there is some crosshatch. Interesting. Over there, some burn marks. Interesting, very interesting. 